The University of Evansville faculty is taking matters into its own hands, creating a draft economic realignment plan for the university. The faculty senate voted to create a committee to make its own draft plan. Now this comes after the president of the University of Evansville announced a plan that would eliminate 17 majors. It's a plan that has upset a number of faculty and alumni. To work together and create an, an ongoing plan for the university is not possible unless we have access uh, to all the data that's necessary, obviously subject to privacy rules and so on. University of Evansville history professor Dr. James McLeod says the faculty needs more data to be released before the faculty senate is able to compile an academic realignment plan of its own. The data that we used uh, to be able to, be, to propose our draft academic alignment plan is the same data that we provided to the faculty. So they have the information that we used and the four criteria that we used in coming up with the draft plan. And we hope that they utilize that data and their their expertise to provide us with some input on the plan. The, the data we believe is very flawed. Uh, and one of the problems is that when it counts majors for a department, for example, it doesn't count students who have two majors. Um, it doesn't count any of the teaching that faculty do outside of their own major. Um, and these are just two examples. There, there are numerous other problems with the data. Dr. McLeod says UE President Chris Petruskevich hasn't attended the past two faculty senate meetings to answer those questions. President Petruskevich says he is giving them room to compile their proposals and suggestions. We, we asked the faculty to, to provide their comments and, and expertise on an area in which they have expertise, which is the academic part of the, of the university. Uh, and so they are making those recommendations uh, to us and we'll take those into account in additional conversations with our faculty about what the final plan looks like. UE's president says the final academic realignment plan is expected to look different than the draft plan. He says they are expecting to eventually make changes to athletics and administration, not just academics. Indiana's attorney general has finished his investigation into a former Indiana abortion doctor after more than 2,400 fetal remains were found on his property. Dr. Ulrich Klopfer died in 2019.